Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to go over a few tips and tricks to using the scale, to measuring your food, and to put things in my fitness pal to make it easier. So I have a scale. I hope everyone has one. I know if you're one of my clients, I've sent you one. If you don't have one, let Jenny or myself know. And what we're gonna do today is, I really like to use the scale for things that I'm adding on. So I'm gonna go over a homemade granola with you on how to use the scale. And then I'll go over a couple other things where I think it makes it really easy. So I think granola is a great thing I've been making recently for myself, for my kids on the go. You can use lots of different ingredients. Today I'm gonna measure out some beef jerky that I have, some non-dairy chocolate chips, and some almonds. It's a great way to empty out some things that you do have in your cabinet. Some other alternatives to use are any nuts, dried edamame, dried chickpeas, any seeds like pumpkin, or sunflower seeds are great, and any dried fruit that you have. Dried cherries, dried apricots, you know, um, any of those things are great to add to your trail mix, and we can definitely measure them out and add it to my fitness pal very easily. So what I'm gonna do is first put a bowl on, I got a cute bowl, and I'm going to zero out the scale. So I'll press zero, I because I do not want the weight of the bowl into my trail mix. So what I'll do first is I'll look and see what one serving of almonds is, it's 30 grams. So I will put 30 grams of almonds, perfect. Then what I'll do, keep that in the bowl, I will zero it out again. So the scale says zero. I can put in 15 grams of chocolate chips, that's one serving size. So I'm gonna put in 15 grams of chocolate chips. There we go. I'm gonna hit zero again because I just want to have the weight of my next item. So I am going to put in some beef jerky, which for this it's one ounce. So I'm going to change the unit to one to the ounces and put in one ounce of beef jerky. There we go. So I have all the ingredients that I've measured. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into a Ziploc bag or a container on the go. So I have everything measured out. I can put it to a container, whatever I have available. So that is how I will measure certain things that are layered. Other uh, recipes that I use for this are rice bowls. What I'll do is put the rice on, zero it out, then put the meat, zero it out, then put the vegetables, so that I know all of the ingredients and the measurements that I have. I'll use that for, you know I love um, al or, um, almond milk or coconut milk, granola bowls with yogurt. So I'll do it with the yogurt, then I'll add on the berries, then I'll add on the granola, then I'll add on some seeds or um, anything else that I wanna put on there, some nuts. The last thing I use it for most is when I make a little wrap. So I'll put a wrap on there. I will zero it out. I don't need to know the weight of the wrap because I already know the macros for the wrap. But then I will put hummus on it, zero it out. I will put some more vegetables on it, zero it out. Whatever else I'm adding on there. Um, I think it's a great tool to use for that. So the other things that I wanted to do aside from the scale is I want to talk a little bit about my fitness pal and some things that I found in my fitness pal. An easy way to put in either the bowl or the wrap or something or the granola mix that you make, the trail mix, um, is there is something in there when you press the plus button, it says meals. And what you can do is you can personalize it. So I have something in my fitness pal that says Alex's trail mix. And what you do is you press the add button, you do add meal, you title your meal, whatever is the meal that you're going to put in there. It could be a rice bowl, it could be your coconut bowl, it could be a recipe that you make all the time. It could be a breakfast that you have on a low carb day. So you could put in your eggs, your bacon, your avocado. If you have something on repeat that you really like to make, put it as a meal. And then below that, it'll say choose ingredients. So you choose the ingredients from the list as you normally would, but they will group them together as a meal. So then you can just pull it up as go in when you're actually, once you, are done putting it in, then you can go in on top, on the top bar and it says meals and that'll be there. The other feature that I really love recently of my fitness pal is the scan barcode. You know, most of these items that I have, have barcodes that I'm using that are healthy, good ingredients. So I will do that and I will use my scale to measure it out. For instance, I do that a lot with tortilla chips. 
if I measure it out and put it in my fitness pal, it helps me not overeat those type of foods. So if I wanna measure out the hummus and the vegetables and put it on a plate, then I put those ingredients back in the fridge that I'm not going to eat. If I measure out the tortilla chips, I know it's gonna be between, I think it's eight and 10 tortilla chips, or you can measure by the grams, I put that bag away. Just so I can enjoy my treat, enjoy my food without feeling guilty and without eating more than a serving size. I find tracking your macros is really interesting in the fact of looking at actual serving sizes and um, realizing really what foods we need to fuel our body and what will make us feel full. So I hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy using your scale, enjoy using my fitness pal. It isn't as hard as it looks if you just take some time um, and play around with it. And if you have any questions, Jenny and I are always here. Have a great day.